The FAA is looking into a dangerous close call between two planes on the runway at Reagan National Airport. Our Northern Virginia reporter Max Marcilla shares the details of the almost accident. And you're about to hear what those frantic moments sounded like as a Southwest plane that was taxiing and a JetBlue plane getting ready for takeoff nearly collided. Stop. 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 We stopped. We were cleared to cross runway four. And we stopped. Stop. 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 Two planes seemingly on a collision course, narrowly avoiding each other as both came to a stop before maneuvering away. Tonight, the FAA is looking into what happened 741 Thursday morning. The JetBlue flight 1554 on its way to Boston delayed nearly six hours. The airline saying it inspected the plane before it eventually took off. This comes after efforts by some members of Congress to add flights to Reagan National, but it's been opposed by many of our region's politicians. In a joint statement after today's near crash, Senators Tim Kaine and Mark Warner say DCA's overburdened runway is already the busiest in the country, and we fear that adding more flights could put passenger safety at serious jeopardy. Tonight, both airlines say they're cooperating with the federal investigation, and the FAA says initially it believes that an air traffic controller told the Southwest plane to cross the runway as the JetBlue plane was starting its takeoff roll.